Hey Coach Sean Casper here. Thanks so much for joining me for my simple nutrition system. I'm so excited for you to join me, uh, join me on this journey. Okay, so what I want to do is break down this simple concept. This is going to be a really short video because this really is the simplest way to eat and get results. So let's look at the foundation of our program. So it's built on two options. Okay, now uh, as you've already seen, it's you're picking a primary protein as your main meal and you're building from there. That's the foundation of every time you eat with a few exceptions. So option number one, you have your one to two meals you prep in advance, maybe three if you go this route, if you want a little more variety, and you plug those meals in. I'll, you'll see an example in some of the PDFs of how I might structure my day. I might have meal, my beef dish, my chicken dish, and I'll say I have a fish dish too, just for this example. And I would simply rotate those uh, through three or four meals over the course of a day. With this, you do have one optional snack. I recommend that if you go with a three meal selection, so meal one, meal two, meal three, your chicken, fish, beef, and then your maybe a protein shake smoothie in there somewhere. Uh, it really depends on you when you work out and your lifestyle, okay? But it's about starting with a quality source and just building your foundation from there. Everything else should follow if you're active. Option two is where maybe you have, uh, it, you just can't stomach quite as much food, or you want something on a little bit faster, even prep in advance, you maybe just want to prep one, maybe two primary meals and keep things a little more simple, okay? Then I would recommend you have your two primary dishes, which can be the same meal, or sorry, the same dish at different times, right? Two portions, and then you have your snacks with that as well. Now, when you're building your uh, actual primary protein meal, what I'm recommending is, here's the steps you want to take, three simple steps. So. Step one, pick your primary meal. Every meal I've given you in the system is basically protein centric, maybe a little bit of carbohydrates and fat, but it's basically a quality protein to last flavor and variety. Second, pick your vegetables. I've given you a ton of vegetable dishes to, to add in. What I do just so I'm in the know and I have control is I pick my pro primary protein, I have my you know one or two veggie dishes prepped, and I just put it all together. Right? It's that simple, you just put those things on one plate together. If, you, if you're a very picky eater and you need certain vegetables and certain foods, pick a primary protein meal that has uh, specific vegetables cooked in it. Maybe like a, a, a crock pot dish where there's you know um, different vegetables mixed in with whatever the recipe is for your primary protein. All right? And number three, grab a starch if you need one. Right? What I'm recommending is you have one meal that has a starch added in. So your primary protein, your vegetable and your starch for your one meal. That meal is best placed following your workout. Okay, if you feel like you're really dragging, your blood sugar is just not picking up, even with the quality foods that you're eating and your exercise, then I would add in a second time to have a starch. But you need your primary protein, your vegetables, every one of your meals. So one starch per day at least. You got a ton to choose from, and then add the second one if you really feel like you need it. But that can make the difference between seeing more rapid fat loss and moderate fat loss, okay? Some basic tips I wanna give you. If you're like me, you have really long 15 plus hour days, what I personally recommend is that you set an eating window. I personally eat for eight to 10 hours at a time during the day. It helps me keep my intake down. I don't have a problem with eating the wrong kinds of foods. It's more grazing and overeating, all right? Second, I mentioned the starch tip already. What I want you to do with that is make sure you only put the starch after your workout if you can, if you need it another time, feel free to, okay? Third, keep it simple and have fun with this. This is not meant to be torturous or unpleasant, okay? Enjoy food. Get your variety from following the habits of prepping your foods in advance and you know that time you invest, that effort you invest will serve you. I can promise you everything else will follow the more effort and focus you put into yourself. Hope this gets you kick-started on the nutrition system. I look forward to seeing you continue this program.